This message is brought to you by the people at Flexispot.com. Doctor, what's your opinion about those stand-up work desks? The future is right here. This is the stand-up work desk by Flexispot.com, and it is the most ideal desk you can have for the health of your posture and your spine. It's kind of a big deal. That chair you're sitting at for six hours a day is literally killing you. Specifically, the insulin-secreting beta cells of the pancreatic islets. That's right, my friends. If you sit for a living, you're at risk for type 2 diabetes and all the other cardiovascular diseases that are associated with a sedentary lifestyle. The 35 to 45 degree curvature is the most stable configuration for the cervical and lumbar spine. But when you're sitting, that all goes to Research has clearly indicated the relationship between low back pain and sitting in a chair. It's four to six hours a day of sitting. That's why I've seen entire office buildings and university classrooms outfitted with desks that give you the option to stand. Churchill, Hemingway, Franklin, Nick Fury, Leonardo da Vinci, they all had stand-up work desks. You know who sits at a desk? This guy. You don't have to stand all day because this desk does this. You just get a nice little mat, some comfortable shoes. So it still works, even if you're nine feet tall. The desk will come securely packaged and assembly takes less than 20 minutes. You'll immediately be impressed by the sturdy materials and simplistic design. With two solid steel legs and a steel frame desk, the Flexispot.com self riser is the perfect desk for your home or office. This metal feels like it was forged by Yitri, the dwarven blacksmith. Do it for your pancreas. Do it for your heart. Do it for your posture. Do it for your sperm and your unborn children. Do it for your children's children. We're talking about helping generations of low back pain. That's good karma. We're still a few steps away from the completely weightless, zero gravity, suspended in a pool of photon milk plasma, which not only will be good for our posture, but also helps increase precognitive abilities. But until then, I recommend standing. Lower back pain. Low back pain. How long mm -hmm. have you had low back pain for? Is this a new thing? Five years, ten years? Maybe like five years. Okay. Did you have any kind of injury or anything at the beginning? No. Nope. Did you have any lifestyle change five years ago? New job, new bed, no. new car? Maybe new bed. Yeah. But more like just children a okay. lot trying to do things. Okay. How old is your oldest? Eight. How about your youngest? Five. You to make it feel good. If your back hurts, what do you do? Do you stretch? Do you rest? Yeah, do you I'd say run? stretch. Um, do you ever take any over the counters? Any ibuprofen, Advil, mm, Tylenol? Not for my back. I kind of just deal with it. Okay. What kind of things make your back pain worse? Laying on my stomach. Okay. So mm -hmm. when you do, you sleep on your stomach? I sleep on my right side. Okay. Do you ever have any pain that goes down the back of your legs? No. Numbness or tingling in your mm -hmm. feet. Okay. Do you ever have any neck pain? Sometimes. Headaches? Same thing, uh, headaches, yes. So how often do you get a headache? Maybe twice a week. Where on your head do you feel the headache? Like right in your temple. Okay. It's tell usually the side. You're about to tell me about your neck pain too. It's just every once in a while. If I'm not sitting with good, um, I don't know what the word is, stature. Posture? Good, yeah, posture, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, good posture usually, sometimes it... Well, when hunched. when is that? When are you hunched? When I'm not thinking about posture. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a real good answer. Do you take any other pharmaceutical medications? I do. I'm on immunosuppressants, folic acid. I'm on um, trileptol, and I'm trying to think of what the other one. And it's another seizure medication. Okay. But are the immunosuppressants for seizures? No, they're for my liver transplant. Okay. Whose liver did you get? I got a man's liver, a military man. Uh huh. He passed away overseas, and then his liver was like the perfect fit. But I was in liver failure. 
I got bumped to the top of the list and I had a liver within the hour. So it was very life or death situation. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the liver failure. Did you have, well, how, why were you um, hepatitis? Well, or? no. Um, I had something called Wilson's disease. Okay. It's very rare. You don't, most people don't realize they have it until it's too late, mm -hmm. but my mom had noticed I was coming home from school because it was my senior year, very uh, sluggish. And they said, they, they ran some tests, told me I had a sludgy gallbladder and sent me home. Told my mom to take me off my she, uh, seizure medication. And she realized if I went off of that medication, I would have seizures. So she called my neurologist. We drove up to Hershey. They ran tests, said I was in liver failure. They wanted to bring the helicopter in and fly me to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. The helicopter wasn't going to get there fast enough, so we took an ambulance down. I had a liver within the hour, and onward from there. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an amazing mm -hmm. story. Like, what do we? This is what we can do for <laughs> yeah. people. I mean, mm -hmm. just here's a liver for you. All yeah. right. Do you know anything about the person who whose liver you got? You know his name? It's, no, I don't because. The donors get to choose. I got a letter from his wife. She was actually pregnant, which is kind of sad. She wrote in the letter, if I ever have a hankering for Mountain Dew, that it's because of him. And I thought that was kind of cute. Like, she had a little bit of sense of humor in there. So, yeah, it's definitely one of the most <laughs> heart-wrenching, tear-jerking topics. But mm -hmm. I'm, I really have to know, do you ever get a hankering for Mountain Dew? Not really, because I know how bad it is for you. <laughs> okay. do you. Do you know, have you, either of you ever seen the show? There's a show about this where mm -hmm. they replace someone's heart yep. and then... I've seen that one. How do you feel about this? <laughs> like, do you... I think I think more like a man now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah. I have more mentality. I would say. <laughs> mentality, right. yes. Okay, that was yep. really good. Thank you. Uh, yep. You know, that was a dad joke. So it was. That definitely. just almost proved your point yeah. right there. Mm-hmm. It was okay. definitely a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever been adjusted before? No. How do you feel about it? Nervous? Excited? Nervous. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm a little nervous. That's okay. We'll go nice and slow. I'll explain everything that I'm going to do before I do it. We'll practice the adjustments before I do them. Okay. And, uh, and then you'll, you're going to feel better <laughs> after it. Okay. All right, so let's do an exam on your spine. Let's see what your spine says and go from there. All right. I All right, we're gonna start off with a couple scans here. Just very gentle. I'm just gonna go the surface of the spine. Okay, Nikki? Mm Okay, I'm going to do a temperature assessment with the back of my fingers. Definitely more heat coming off the lower <laughs> right lumbar for sure. It's hot down here. All right, I'm going to push into your spine just a little bit deeper. Tender. I'm going to go just a little bit below your belt line, okay? Mm -hmm. Any tenderness here? Mm. Just a little bit, but not much. Any tenderness here? Same way. Stiffness, tension, discomfort. A little like. Okay, let's 
good. Okay, now keeping your feet on the ground, open your knees up. Good, and then close. Okay, look straight ahead. Okay, sit up nice and straight. Good, okay, open. Close. Open. Close. Okay, not much movement on the left SI. Maybe an IN or an EX on this side. How's this feel? Is it tender? No, it just not feels like it. Okay, just palpating. We're far, far away from the adjustment, okay? I'm mm -hmm. not going to adjust you. Tender. Oh. Alright, let's do this. Go ahead and stand up. Okay, you can stand up. This is how we measure and assess where the uh, pelvis is sitting. So go ahead and let your arms relax. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Look straight ahead. Stand up nice and tall. Good, look straight ahead. It's like even like, you, you do have just a little bit of a, it's like a postural thing. Go look straight ahead, keep looking straight ahead. This is the spine, here's the spine. So we do have a translation here. So your like body is like to the side like this. Okay, so looking at your glute fibers, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? okay. All right, I'm gonna slide up to the glute fold here. Yours is lower on the left, which means this is possibly rotated posterior inferior on the left. Looking from the top here, they're even. So no IN or EX. Good, good, good relax there. You did that all by yourself. Nice gentle breathing. This is where you carry it. And all, all roads lead to here for you. Okay, nice soft breathing in through your nose. And out through your mouth, we're just gonna work on this for a little bit and help relax this part of your neck. Nice, gentle breathing. Okay, let it all sink in.
Okay, Nikki. Let's practice an adjustment first, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this very slowly and very softly, okay? Mm -hmm. I just want you to feel what it's like. I'm not adjusting you yet. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, now let your shoulders relax here. Just kind of sink in, let this go, let this go, let this go. Good, do that again, in breath and out breath. Good, let this go, let this go. Good, did you feel the difference there on that one? Mm -hmm. And so you're letting go a little bit more, you're not pushing back against me. So this is gonna be gentle. I'm just gonna follow your breath just like those first two. And then at the end of your breath, we're just gonna very gently push a little bit further, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, we're gonna start right in the middle. This is gonna be very gentle, very easy. Okay, all we're gonna do is follow your breath. See if you can let your shoulders down. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do, but you're still pushing against me. So let's do that again. Take another deep breath in. Good, and then out. Good, now let your shoulders down. Good. Let's try again, another breath in. And out. Good. Now let your body sink in. Let your whole body, shoulders, hips, just let it all go. Do you feel that? So like you're letting go and it's starting to crack already, right? As soon as you stop resisting, then it just does what it needs to do. I don't need to push very hard. So we'll try that one more time, another breath in. Good, and out. Good, sinking. Okay, now was that terrible? Mm -mm. Are you scaring Amanda? <laughs> How do you feel over there? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Okay. Good shoulders relax. Good. Okay, now same thing. Let it go. Let him go. There you go. Let him 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 go. Okay. Shoulders, good, gentle, breathing in, good, and out. Shoulders, shoulders. Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we push at the top of the in-breath, so you're gonna breathe all the way in, and then we push mm -hmm. as you start to breathe out. So it's a little bit different, but let's try that deep breath in through your nose, all the way in, far in as you can go. Good, now let your shoulders drop as you breathe out. It's moving, you know, there was movement on that, but less because you're resisting. Good, that was it right there. <laughs> do that last time. <laughs> i do it next time, do it. Deep breath in, all the way in, and let it all go. Let it go. Good, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. This, you're holding. There, see that, that was it. I think I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we've got like a lot of stuff to do before I adjust you, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything <laughs> quick or sudden. Do you feel how like do you feel how you're lifting your chin? Look at that. Do you feel see that? <laughs> look, look, but like right now mm -hmm. your head is an extension and you don't want that. Like That's this is good. This is neutral. Ready? Watch what happens when I let go. Do you feel how you what did you I mean obviously you feel how you're lifting your chin there. There was that was better. You did it less there. The whole idea here is to give up control. That's <laughs> so then you can just like sink into the infinite. Yeah, anything's possible at any time. It's tender here. Mm -hmm. Okay, very gentle. I'm just gonna feel your spine. Good, you're doing good. This is good practice here for what you have to do. It's just to let me do the work. Just let it happen. You're resisting just a little bit. So the best thing that you can do is just to feel your breath.
Let it go. Let your head drop. Let your head drop. The ultimate goal is to just let your head drop, just like that. See, like the way that you just did it, you weren't holding on at all. So I'll move your head to the left, drop, right, drop. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. We're gonna just push in that direction, okay? Okay, you can close your eyes. There's nothing to look at right now. Breathing gently and just let your head sink in and let it go. Good, that's perfect. Very, very gentle. Just bringing your head over and we're gonna push in this direction. Good, breathe one time in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, now let this go. Good. <laughs> Breathing gently. Okay, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna see where it needs to be adjusted. So just kind of like let your head relax. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, it's so all at the bottom. So just kind of let your shoulders sink in, let your head drop, and very gentle, very gentle. We're just gonna bring this over. Oh, let this go. <laughs> Good. Almost, hold on. We almost got all of it. Good, let it drop. I wish I had you. I should have two cameras, one on your face. Man, I could, hold on. Okay, these are ankle adjustments. I'm gonna pull your uh, ankle in this direction like that, okay? Squeeze your knees together, hold them together. Hold. This is the window in between the large and the small intestine. Okay, we start by finding the umbilicus, umbilical here, and the ASIS, the point in between these two, is our beginning point to start looking for the ileocecal valve. Yours is here. Tender? Feels funny. Did you eat late last night? <laughs> I had a muffin. <laughs> Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where your stomach empties into your small intestine. Two inches up from the umbilical. Yeah, that's where. No, it's this just, is this is my... your coffee. No, that's my scar. Is it, it's tender up top? Mm -hmm. If I push here, is it still tender? Mm -hmm. A little bit. On top. Okay. Okay, so this is a diaphragm release, but tell me, how does that feel on your scar? Feel that that feels fine. It was the other spot. Is that tender? Not with the pressure that you're putting on it. Is that tender? Mm -hmm. So you feel scar tissue underneath yep. when I push through. This is this is also. I don't think this is scar tissue. This is below the incision. Like an inch. This is your pyloric sphincter. You know what this is? What you just told me. <laughs> This is your morning coffee right here. Ow. Your body doesn't like it. Let me see your teeth. See the smile. Let me see your tongue. All the way out. <laughs> How many stitches here? I'm not sure, honestly. I know that they opened back up. I had to fill them. Stuff. I mean, they haven't opened back up since mm -hmm. probably a week, but I was kind of out of it when all that happened. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Tender. A little bit. You know what's cool about this tattoo? Mm -hmm. It's a peace sign. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna finish it? You just get the circle <laughs> around it. Uh, I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> no.
Well, yeah, yeah. You're like, this is my brother. Yeah. Okay, your hands are in a good place. Just keep your teeth together, okay? I'm going to bring your spine into a position. We're going to pull like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, just let your head drop and let your shoulders drop. Good. Breathe in and out. Letting everything sink. Let your head and shoulders sink. <laughs> Guess what? Mm -hmm. That was awesome. You did great. Did that hurt at all? Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to do one more, okay? <laughs> okay. That's her reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you ready over there? Okay, breathing. Everyone breathe in. You too, breathe in. And up. Uncross your legs. That's 5%. Yeah. 5% of what I usually do. That's not, it doesn't hurt, right? Not really. I don't know how to explain it because I've never had it done before. Validation <laughs> over there. That's very true. Okay, look straight up as far as you can. Squeeze your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulders. Let go of your arms. Now squeeze your shoulders. Gentle. Keep squeezing. Look straight ahead. Yeah, let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, these are cranial manipulations. You have really vivid, like, frequent dreams, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you dream <laughs> hardcore. Your dream life is very active, and do you have prophetic dreams? Sometimes. Yeah, this is cool. Although last night I had a dream that I was trying to save my son from an alligator, so, you know, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't come true. <laughs> Well, you know, you just have to decode it symbolically. <laughs> yeah. You know, the alligator represents wisdom, like ancient wisdom mm -hmm. and survival. Um, yeah, so is something, what is this, your oldest? oldest My young, youngest. Youngest, seven, you said, six? Um, five. Five, five. Um, let's see. Yeah, don't, are you, are you protecting him too much? <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Yeah, you need to let him go. You need to let him fall and get hurt. And that's how he learns. That's the alligator. You can't protect him from the alligator. Wow, look at you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just relax. Okay. Take him for a test drive. Walk him out a little bit. How'd your back feel? How'd your low back feel? Fine. <laughs> I know, I'm a horrible, like, reviewer. No, it feels good. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a dance move. Oh, no, you did. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> like... Okay, look straight ahead.
go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, we're gonna start right in the middle. This is gonna be very gentle, very easy. Okay, breathing. Okay, all we're gonna do is follow your breath. Good, breathe one time in through your nose. Shoulders. Good, breathe. See if you can let your shoulders down. Out through your mouth. Good, gentle. Good, and now. Take another deep breath in. Just kind of let your shoulders sink in. Breathing in. Okay, just let your head drop and let your shoulders drop. Good, and then now. Let your head drop. Now let your shoulders relax. Another breath in. And very gentle. All the way in, far in as you can go. In. Good, now let your shoulders down. All right, let this go. Is there one more breath? And out. Good, and out. And out. Good. And out. Now let your body sink in. While letting everything sink, let your head and shoulders sink. And let your whole body, shoulders, hips, just let it all go. Good, let it go. Good. Good, sinking. Okay, breathing. Good, sinking. You too, breathe in. Good, now let this go. And up. Good. Good. Good, let it drop. That was great. You did fantastic there, except for when you knocked over the yeah, microphone I was, out. That was I was thinking about that. I got it. <laughs> Your face. I opened my eyes right when Do I still have color in here or not? I'm not so sure. You're red, but you're okay. <laughs> I always mute it when I watch it. I know you do.